My sister, you're welcome to Shekana Glory Faith Ministry. Please introduce yourself to the saints here present and viewers all over the world and tell us the marvelous things God have done for you. Good morning, church. Good morning, children of God. My, my, thank you. My name is Lizwe Machai. I'm standing here to thank the greatness of God. You know, ever since I came here, I call this my home. Because God has done so many things. God has touched me. Because when I came here, I asked him, I said, Lord, please work with me first. Work in me. I'm starting a new foundation. And I've seen God work. I'm here to testify about my family members. I have a brother who was arrested in 2001. You know, it's for a lot of things. A lot of things. So the person was always going to, the, to, to, to him for the hearing and the courts is my sister. So every time I asked my sister, my sister wouldn't tell me what was the problem. She would just say, it's better I keep it to myself. So I remember going to, to, to jail, taking a Bible. That was long ago. I think it was uh, 2002, early 2002. I took a Bible to him. I said, my brother, here's the word of God. Read it. God is going to strengthen you. He just laughed. He's a person who was very, very calm. He just laughed. I went. The next time I came, I found the Bible inside the things that I must take back home. He, then he, he said, you, you know how jail is. On the small window, it's dead. You can't even see inside. He said, my sister, that book is in there. It's going to waste my time. I took it away. I, I prayed. I said, my God, you, you are the creator. You are great. And I know that, I don't know when, but you are going to touch him. Then in 2001, something bad, I don't know. Like I'm saying, my sister wouldn't tell me. My mom got a call and I had to go to where, to the hospital where he was. I couldn't see that it's my brother. I, I, I was amazed because the face was changed. You know, it was the, 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 the size of a 10 liter, how big it was. And he was in chains and I was like, my God, what's this now? I, I, I didn't talk much to him and he was taken away. I would say after then, I just saw him once, you know, in these 24 years. And for all these years I've been praying. I don't remember one day passing without me praying for him. When I came here, the most important thing is that uh, when I went to the mountain, I said, Lord, I'm going up the mountain. And as I do this, it's on behalf of all my, my family members, my brother included. I went up the mountain, I prayed. Uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned him and, you know, saying, I stand on the mountain, I believe that you are on higher places and God is going to give you strength. You are going to overcome. And I said, Lord, begin to work in him, make him a different person, make him a humble person inside and outside, Lord, let your spirit work in him. When you come out here, he must come out to serve you, Lord. He was not serving you before, but I believe you're going to do that. So the it, it, it time went by. Then in, in 2022, I received a call from my mom saying, your brother called, he said, um, they might be releasing him. And then I received a call, it would be a missed call, several missed calls, then it was him. He, he, I said, oh, I'm glad we can talk. Yes, he said, you know, um, my sister, they are saying they might release me. I said, okay, let's pray. God is going to do it. So, uh, so Sorry, that was in 2019. And the, it didn't happen because it was just uh, before December, then it was COVID. And um, in 2022, he called to say they are busy with the paperwork. And after the paperwork, it, it took long because it had, to, it had to be a long process. I remember the time I came and we passed through the Missy land. It was, it, it was that week he called to say, they said, I must now do a program. The program that is for the whole, uh, for the whole country. Okay, I said, okay, it's fine. God is with you. And uh, fast forward, um, last year late, he, he called me to say, my sister, they said, um, November. November didn't happen. He said, now it's like they're playing games. 
again, they called me to say next year, they say this is final. They called my mom, they went to my mom, and my mom didn't want to talk about this anymore and anyone. But then he called me uh, two months back, around February, he said, my, my sister, they said the date, 19th of April. I said, it's final. God has said it. God has used them. He said, hey, I don't know. I said, you know what? Don't make any prayer anymore. Thank God. Every day, thank God. Don't think about anything. Just thank God. And um, I said, you'll see him work. As soon as you remove all the, sh the, the load from his shoulders and throw it up to him, then he will work. Then um, last month, he said, my sister, do you still remember what I said? I said, what? He called me again. He said, do you still remember what I said? I said, what? He said, remember the day, the 19th? I said, yes, my brother, we are waiting for you. Angels are rejoicing. We are all waiting for you. And he said, really? I said, yes, we've been waiting for you for all these years. We've been praying. And the day came, he came back home. They called me. My other brother went to fetch him. They called me to say, your brother finally is here. And I just, you know, I was just saying thank you. Let Lord. us clap thank for Lord. Master Jesus. My sister, when you, are, you and your family members, you are going all through these problems, this trauma, what kept you going as a member of Shekana Glory Faith Ministry? Uh, what kept me going is, um, you know, I, I remember the prophet saying, don't neglect your family members. Pray for them. It doesn't matter what. He stressed that again on when there was a graduation. He said, Pray for them. Even myself, I'm still praying for my family members. And God is in them. Then I remembered my brother. In my heart, I was saying, one day, I don't know when God is you. I was in church. I said, one day it will happen. That's what kept me going. You know, even the word, the word is very important because the word builds us. It strengthens us, the word. And the other thing, you know, the, 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 there's welcoming in the house of God here. It's home. That's why I call it home. So Let us thank for Master Jesus for this great testimony. So, to the glory of God, the man on the screen, is, is he your brother? Yes, that's my brother. Let us thank Master Jesus. Can you continue with your testimony? Yes, uh, I went to see him, and um, we, we were all happy. And um, one thing I want to say is that when one blessing happened, it opened doors for other blessings. In my family, there was tension. You couldn't explain what tension it was because I'm from a very, very big family. So we were not calling each other with my half brothers, half sisters, aunts, uncles, and whoever. Then all of a sudden, my my other sister called me and she was so excited saying, sister, please, we must always keep praying for each other. And she's not the person who talks about God, but always, I always call them to say God must be with them. She said we must pray and also talking to my brother that my brother must remain in God. And then during the week also I talked to my other sister. So I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Sister, what are the other areas God has taught you and your family? Okay, um, the other areas are with my daughters. I'm going to give testimonies about my daughters. Uh, when I came here to church, my younger daughter was uh, looking, searching for a house. And it was just, you know, there was stagnancy. Uh, she, she couldn't make up her mind. And also the finances were not agreeing. Then I, 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 to, I told her, I said, um, you know, in the church where I am, I'm going to intercede for you. I'm going to pray for you. But you must know what you want. God can never bless you if you're confused. You don't know what you want. It's, it's either you say, my God, I don't know what I want. Please help me. But if you choose this and this and every, all houses, then it's going to be difficult. And then finally, she saw the house and she said, mom, I'm happy about this one. Then I said, okay, now... Um, I, I, I will intercede for you. And I told her, I said, we are, this Sunday, it said that we are going to pass through the messy land. And I was always using the, the mediums of the church. I was using um, uh, oil, 
you know, you know, because my family members are many, they are in different places, so I use it on myself if they are not around. I'll use it on myself, anointing myself and saying, with the power in the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, you said we are in you, and the, 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 we, all of us with my family who are in you, as I anoint, I believe that wherever they are, they are receiving the power and the, 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 the whatever they are looking for. So I kept on uh, anointing. And then one day she just called me to say, Mom, they've approved the house. So I, I went to see the house. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Can you look to your screen? Children of God, indeed, what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ cannot do does not exist. And we all know that distance is not a barrier. Our sister was here interceding for the, all the family members. And today, to the glory of God, you can see wonderful testimonies upon testimonies she's given to the congregation here present and viewers all over the world. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. So, uh, I just want to testify about my other daughter, my older daughter. Then I'll just, maybe in one or two sentences, give you the background about houses in my home. Uh, my other daughter, unfortunately, I couldn't get the picture. Uh, God blessed her with a house as well. Um, I want to see it at the beginning of the month. Let it's, us clap for Master Kenya. Jesus. Sister, God has blessed you and your family as you stand in for them, stand in the gap for them in Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry, being faithful to God, believing that one day God will indeed answer your prayers, restore your families. Today you are testifying to the glory of God that all your prayers in terms of restoration and breakthrough has been answered. What is a word of advice to people who are still here, also interceding for their families and viewers all over the world who are watching you through the Rafa TV, what is a word of advice to encourage them to be steadfast and wait upon the Lord? Uh, the word of advice, children of God, is that, um, you know, when you are facing a problem, you, you know, it's the time when the devil works in the mind. So as children of God, we need to be always aware of that. A anytime you face a problem, immediately invite the Holy Spirit, invite the presence of God. Declare the greatness of God, the things that God is doing. Declare his, you know, his majesty, his honor. Always focus on good things of God. Never allow your mind to wander about. Immediately, because, you know, when we are in problems, you end up thinking about things that happen to you which are not good. And you end up in your mind, in your heart, starting to say things that you shouldn't be doing. Immediately you realize, because the Holy Spirit is going to remind you that now, your mind is wandering. Immediately repent. Same amen and amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus for this wonderful advice. Amen. My sister, we thank you for this wonderful testimony. And I pray along with you and sincere present that the God of now, the God of Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry, the God of right here, right now, we visit you more and more. More testimony, more breakthrough will come your way in the mighty name and in the blood of Jesus Christ.